Mike Crypto here. I hope we're all having a wonderful day. And today's title of the video, The Truth Revealed. <laughs> Stay with me. It's really, really important. Please remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any further videos. Also remember, I'm not a financial advisor. You should always do your own research. But first and foremost, we're getting back to those crypto bubbles after my rant yesterday. We are up one rank to 40 with a market cap of $1.06 billion with a quant value of 88 and 19 cents and the 24 hour volume of 12 million. And we are up 0.2% in the hour, down 0.8% in the day, up 1.2% in the week and down 11.2% in the month. So we move over and we see Bull shark trading here, currently having a third rejection from the $87 level with what is currently a bullish pin bar candle. With a close like this, we could see some short term bullish momentum come in and push price to the lower high. A valid breakout from there, we target the POC level of $102 as we can see from the VPVR indicator, a large volume void, not much resistance to hold price. On the weekly time frame, we can see a large volume void below current support and a large fair value gap that could be filled, partially filled if the price was to break to the downside. Our buy orders are set in around the fair value gap and sell side liquidity levels on the daily time frame. If we look at the quality on BTC pairs with BTC DOM breaking out to the upside, we'll see money flowing into BTC more so than alts. So I saw this from Cherry Pick. This is in relation to what has been talked about in regards to quant selling a huge amount of coins which we're going to find out the truth. We've spent hours to find out the Quant Network team and Wintermute trading firm are selling their Quant coins. At the moment, Quant Network team sold 144,000 Quant, that's $14.4 million, while Wintermute sold 40K Quant, $3.9 million through Binance and Coinbase. And as you can see here, this is what the flow chart is looking like. Now, a lot of details gone into this, but we can see more. What's more important is 1.02 million quant, which is 102 million was transferred from quant teams wallet to to new addresses. Perhaps these coins are also prepared for sale soon. So it's better to keep an eye on these addresses. Well, so we go over here and we see Hungarian Horntails reply. And this is an absolute gem. I mean, the guy is on fire. This is tokenomics to its absolute nth degree. And this is an awesome reply. This isn't the full story. Exchanges are part of the quant token model, functioning to root and automate quant conversion and acquisition. This is how licenses and payment channels function. If you look deeper, you can see the inflows are aligned to outflows data in the next message. We can see here a message from Gilbert Verdian. We don't, but we need regulated partners like Voyager, Coinbase, Kraken, Bitstamp, etc. And they need to be used as part of the OVN ecosystem. You know, we've been doing our best to help on exchanges. I appreciate there's lots of expectations on this based on people's experiences with crypto projects. It's front of mind for me personally, and we hope to sort it out. It's a need we have for OVN. We need our treasury to automate our payment channels to buy and exchange quant and fiat. It's something we don't do, but need to partner with the right regulated exchanges to work with us on this journey. And we're on it. As you can see, currently quant outflows outnumber inflows 10 to 1 and have done for days. Quant is also only being sent to exchanges at the rate it's been sent out. Some of the receiving wallets have been tagged for two years now in and ongoing quant utility research project. And if we zoom out, quant wallets continue to increase alongside total distribution. The Overledger network continues to grow and see adoption. Overledger is powered by QNT. Now again, a batch movement of quant routing through exchanges and dramatically increasing wallets. Now that is an absolute gem. Thank you so much to Hungarian Horntail for that bit of information there. Hopefully that will settle people's minds of what's actually going on. And we also see this from the three Antons. I thought this was a really good quote. And this is something he posted a while back. Quant price being manipulated, breaking news such as XRP winning lawsuit and FedNow being days away for launch. 
has gotten speculated, excited and about to FOMO. Volume of XRP has surpassed BTC. Crypto CBDC topics have taken over the media. Crypto has gotten retail investors attention, hence why you're reading this. Crypto has gotten Wall Street attention. Quant Overledger Tech ISO standard is an operating system built for blockchain DLT tech. You cannot build trains without the rails. Quant serves as a rails, whilst coins such as XRP, XLM, XDC serve as the trains. Knowing how important Quant is, why is the price manipulated? Because exchanges don't have enough Quant, as I've been saying many times before. Therefore, exchanges, market makers have no incentive into pumping Quant. Let's say you have a grocery store operator. Would you rather push a product that you have tons of or an item you have very few? Gilbert Verdi and the Quant Network have recently been selling, supplying small portions of Quant into exchanges. However, market makers are still not happy with their stack. Quant has an impressive hodlers and are awaiting for impressive gains. No sellers. If one tenth of XRP volume goes into Quant, the price for Quant will skyrocket. Therefore, exchanges will not make much dollar. Gilbert needs to add more liquidity in order to side with the market maker. If not, market makers will keep on manipulating. And again, absolute gem there and backs up what's already been said. And I'd like to go over to this and it's quite important. Just the tech guy. There's fools out there branding Quant a scam. Just quit investing right away. Established the blockchain ISO standard in 2016. Formulized the SATP working group at the IETF, home of TCP, IP and HTTP in 2022 with MIT to create an internet scale digital asset protocol. And as we can see here, the world's international transaction network has recognized that tokenization and blockchain interoperability will be key to its members. Cross-border transactions and tokenized asset settlement will indeed become much more efficient, flexible and secure when made via blockchain and with industry standards. A key challenge to the widespread adoption of this technology is the perception that blockchain-based transaction solutions lack necessary levels of interoperability, scalability and ease of implementation that are required required to be truly viable for most applications. We welcome SWIFT's newfound focus on interoperability, but as it embarks on the latest experiment, we're working on live institution-grade solutions built on Overledger, our platform that solved interoperability back in 2018. We also established blockchain ISO standard in 2016. By connecting existing systems with any blockchain, and making it simple to build applications and issue tokens on them, Overledger makes managing and transacting interoperable tokenized assets and tokenized money in reality for financial institutions and their market infrastructures. So absolutely great there. So please remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any further videos. All the best and I'll catch you later.